from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. As the city of Chwane takes delivery of the first buses for its bus rapid transit system, Volvo Southern Africa looks at what the buses can offer. Natasha Odendahl reports. Volvo Southern Africa, in partnership with Marco Polo South Africa, had been contracted to produce 131 buses for the city of Chwane's bus rapid transit system. During May, Volvo phased in the first 30 buses, 12 meter long rigids, enabling the city to start commissioning the bus services. The remaining buses, another 55 12 meter rigids and 46 articulated 18 meter buses, were expected to be phased in over the next two years. With this project well underway, Volvo Southern Africa GM of the bus division, Marius Boerta, tells Engineering News more about the features of the buses and what makes them unique. These units, the chassis, are imported from our plant in Buras, Sweden, in CKD execution. We have uh, them shipped over to our Durban port, where we uh, move the CKD uh, containers to the Durban plant, uh, where we have a full CKD assembly line for these vehicles. Once they've been built up, they get quality signed off and then they get shipped by road, by low, uh, low bed, as you're not allowed to drive them, to your bodybuilder, okay. where they then get the beauty that you see here. The uh, 12 and 18 meter have a lot in commonality, um, which makes it easy for manufacturing and maintenance. The front, the rear end, the sides would look identical. Um, only you'll find that you have the articulation in the 18 meter vehicle. Uh, the engine and the drive line is virtually identical as well, although the 18 meter has a higher horsepower output than the 12 meter. So the 12 meter has 310 horsepower and uh, the 18 meter unit has 340. Uh, both are Euro 5 um, and uh, they have the AdBlue system uh, with the SCR into the catalytic uh, converter. We have state-of-the-art equipment, as you saw, we've got Wi-Fi in the buses, um, they've got the ITS systems, the traffic control, uh, air-conditioned units, uh, raised set suspensions, soft rides. It's an exciting project for us. As I say, it's the first full low-floor buses that have been operated in South Africa. Uh, first would be then in city of Tswani and then uh, in parallel we'll have uh, Cape Town City for my city operations. Natural gas supplier Egoli Gas, owned by black-owned energy group Riatile, has formally initiated its first major network expansion in 30 years. The 50 million rand project will supply gas to MTN's campus west of Johannesburg. The telecoms group plans to use the gas to increase its power generation capacity, chill its billing centre and heat its offices. It also plans to capture carbon and convert it into sellable CO2. Riatile Simpiwe Michle Makulu and MTN's Willem Weber explain the significance of the venture. So this new pipeline we are celebrating today, it's, it's, it's a pipeline that picks up the gas from Robertville and uh, it travels eight kilometers via Sach Road all the way to MTN uh, in 14th Avenue. This new pipeline is the first in uh, 30 years in Ecoli that is moving and uh, MTN has taken a significant step to actually co-invest along uh, a goal in making sure that this partnership happens. Next step for us, we're working on plans for 20 megawatts worth of um, uh, alternate energy generation, of which the biggest component is part methane plants. So uh, 14 megawatts worth of this would be in Gauteng area. Um, scattered between Newlands, 14th Avenue and Doerenfontein. A tri-generation plant to be financially viable, you need to squeeze every gigajoule out of the plant you can get. So first attempt was just to generate electricity uh, from the gas. That didn't work. So we had to come up with a new idea uh, to make it financially viable. And that was to absorb the heat from the exhaust uh, and the oil and the water, uh, heat water up to about uh, 87 to 97 degrees C, pump it through an absorption chiller. 
So it uses a heat source and it produces chilled water. On 14th Avenue, we've got a very important building called a billing center. So um, in the billing center, of course, we count money. Uh, some say we print money. So <laughs> to keep all that equipment going, uh, we need to keep it cool. So we've got a constant chilled water requirement on the campus. So we use the chilled water to cool the equipment. Uh, yes, there's a small heating load as well, so f especially for the office component. We want to do it better. We want to enhance the efficiencies and uh, push it to a quad generation plant uh, and further enhance the machine's efficiencies. Other news making headlines this week. Property group Vukile's portfolio exceeds the 10 billion rand mark. Ten years after listing on the JSE, Property Group Vukile Property Fund has breached the 10 billion rand portfolio value mark and pushed its market capitalization to 8.5 billion rand. And I think it's off the back of that stability that we now look to move on to the next, uh, the next period of growth for the company. We're now at a point where we have re-established the base, we've changed the nature of the portfolio. There are very limited sales. Uh, expected to come off the uh, portfolio in the, near, in the near future and that we enter into our next phase of growth with a much better quality lower risk portfolio more stable and we expect to see earnings growth moving up to at least in line with the sector and, uh, and potentially beyond uh, sector forecasts at the moment. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.